Have you ever wondered where our vegetables, fruits, nuts, and grains come from? Stop and think about it. Where do you think that fruits, vegetables, nuts, and grains come from? You might have said that they come from the grocery store. Well, yes, that's where we get them. But before they get to the grocery store, did you know that our fruits, vegetables, nuts, and grains come from fields like this one, also known as farms? In these fields, lots of different vegetables and fruits are grown. These farm workers are harvesting strawberries. Can you see them? Being a farm worker is a hard job. How do you think the farm workers feel after a long day of work? This is an example of where migrant farm workers used to live in California. Their housing conditions weren't the best, but neither were their working conditions. Farm workers didn't get paid well, and the rules and laws were not always fair to them. Let's read about Cesar Chavez, a farm worker, leader, and the person who changed the lives for many hardworking farm workers. Cesar Chavez by Jerry Tello and illustrated by Stephen Marchese. Cesar Estrada Chavez was born on March 31, 1927. He lived with his family in a small house in Arizona. Cesar's family needed to move to California to find work. This is where Cesar started school. School was hard for Cesar. He spoke Spanish. His teachers spoke English. They had trouble understanding each other. But Cesar loved to learn. He learned an important lesson from his mother. She told him that all people deserved respect. Cesar's family traveled all over California to work. They would pick fruits and vegetables in the fields. Cesar would go to whatever school was nearby. He went to 37 different schools by the time he was in eighth grade. Cesar had to leave school to work in the fields. He needed to help his family make money. Cesar worked from morning until night. He saw the landowners treat the workers very badly. This went against his mother's lesson of respect. Cesar joined the Navy when he was 17 years old. He was sad to leave his family. He sent money home to help them. Cesar never forgot the hard life in the fields. Many years passed. Cesar went home to California in 1948. He met a young woman named Elena Fabella. They fell in love and soon got married. Cesar and Elena taught field workers to read and write. They hoped that this would help the workers speak up for their rights. Cesar started a group to help the workers even more. It was called the United Farm Workers. Cesar traveled to many farms. He would talk to the workers about their need to be treated fairly. The group decided to make a flag. It was red and black. It had an eagle on it. It stood for the pride and courage of the workers. The group went on marches and strikes. The landowners ignored Cesar and the workers. They said they would fire the workers if they did not stop marching and striking. The workers became very angry. Cesar decided he needed to do more. He fasted for 25 days. That means he did not eat any food. Cesar did this to make people see he was serious. Cesar and his group fought hard for change. He wanted respect for the people who worked hard in the fields every day. Today, there are schools, streets, 
and libraries named in honor of Cesar Chavez. He spent his life fighting to help others. Cesar Chavez is a hero to us all.